Ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, Mr. President, Mr. Prime Minister, and the chairman. I really feel very privileged today uh, to be attending this conference and even more to be greeting the participants. I'm really happy to see here today in Tbilisi the Stanford faculty leaders, Mr. Fukuyama, of course, Mr. Eric Jensen, those people whose books we have been reading for years, whose books we have been di discussing for years, never agreeing <laughs> on what they mean and uh, what, um, I mean, um, the results they can show in the developing world. Um, I'm happy to see all the major leaders of our government, uh, legislative and executive branches. I'm also very glad to see the representatives and leaders of opposition in the room. Of course, academia and NGOs, which I hope are always very important in this country. Um, unfortunately, Georgia, though having already 24th year of its independence, has really gone through a, a really big turmoil. We have seen, we have seen civil wars, we have seen loss of territories, we have even had war with Russia. Uh, and through all these years, uh, we have witnessed uh, a change of power, but this change of power could be either through the coups or peaceful, but only after rigged elections. And finally, we really witnessed a change of power through elections. But I should say that all these gains that the country has made, and we really still can say that through these 24 years, Georgia has turned from a near failed state into a developing country with Western aspirations, these gains still remain at risk. These gains are not final. Uh, the modern world shows us that even democracy and even the beginnings of democracy and even independence that we have attained with so much hardship can not be irreversible. Uh, everything is still challenged in the modern world and this means that it requires a huge effort from the side of government, from the side of civil society, opposition, and actually all the Georgian citizens to keep on this path of European integration, to keep on the path of now consolidating democracy. That's why it's really very crucial to have here the high-level thinkers, the high-level thinkers who can put Georgia in international context. Because very soon, though talking of Europe, though talking about our aspirations, we still are kind of thinking on only our country. Very soon, we Georgians cannot put the country into the international context. And that's what we lack. Like. That's what we need as often as possible. The international perspective, the a uh, picture of developments, where Georgia fits in, what are our real prospects are, and what we can do to finally become a really consolidated democracy. So thanks very much for being here, and I'm looking forward to these two days of very in-depth discussions. Thank you.